Hey guys, so I know it's been a long time since I did a video. Then I probably my video, I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to be showing you books that I have been reading since May to now. Talk to this time. I'm trying, I got a weird setup for this. <laughs> okay, hopefully this is good. So the first book that I've been reading is The 39 Clues. Into deep book. Oh, that was loud. Uh, I have read the 39 Clues before, like other books of that series, and I decided to take this as a gamble and read it. Um, I read this in the course of May for two weeks. Um, I didn't finish it, which is a sad thing because I didn't really like it, but it's kind of like the other ones, the same concept pretty much. Um, I've been watching watching now. I've been watching so much stuff. Anyways, I've been also reading um, in May Sudaku and the Thousand Paper Cranes. This is a very, this is based off of a true um, story about a girl who folds 1,000 paper cranes um, to gain the wish to live forever or something like close to that pretty much. Uh, she ends up not making it. Spoilers. I'm sorry about that. But it is such a good story. I do love it and I recommend it. Um, <laughs> I saved that one for the last. I then I finished this in June for a week. It's just a book of poems, um, like short poems, like that kind of short poems. Um, there are some longer poems that take up. A page or so. Um, these poems are kind of uh, weird poems, but they're really cool poems. I like reading poems for some reason. Um, you might kill me for reading this. I have read The Hunger Games before, but I decided to read it again. This is my brother's copy though, and his is paperback, which I don't like. I like hardcover books. <laughs> but, yeah, this is my brother's copy. But anyways, I've been reading The Hunger Games. I, like I said before, I already read this, but I like reading it again. I think it's very cool. And, um, I do recommend it. Catching Fire, I also read. I just never read the other books. I know, I'm a terrible person. Sue me, I don't care. Um, I also read No Dogs Allowed. Um, I read this over the course of three days because I had to take a three-day test for math. Or was it English? I don't know, I had to take a three-day test for some subject and I read this and it's very sad. Um, I want to read you the back of it so you know kind of how sad it is. Um, after losing Danny, her family's beloved horse she, I'm probably reading this wrong, I'm so sorry. Christian decides that she will never get close to another pet again. It's just too heartbreaking. So when her father surprises her with a new puppy for her birthday, Christian infuriates with a new sister on the way who needs a raggedy, messy, noisy, yelly, yellow ball of fur to look after. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sound sad, but it is pretty sad. <laughs> I'm glad and I don't longer like it. But it's a good story though, because everybody faced deaths of some animal or something of sorts. <sighs> I'm fixing the camera. So the reason why I am keeping this from last is because I'm still in the process of reading this book. City of Bones. Uh, this is book one. The City of Ashes and then the City of Glass. That's the theater book tray. So, um, I'm on chapter... Uh, I'm on chapter 8. And I love it so, so far. And I recommend it so much. Because it's amazing. So like I said, I'm still reading that book. And I'll see you guys later in another video. Peace.